asked me to make a flower grow in class yesterday, but instead I made the desk start sprouting leaves. So embarrassing. I think my dad had to chop that up for firewood. He didn't look happy. How'd you mess up the spell, Juniper? Asked her. Don't you want to go eat dinner with the other boys? Hey guys, isn't that your dad's car? Asked her. Go say hi. I'll be there in a sec. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Dad. Oof, you must have grown a foot since I was here last, kid. It wasn't that long ago. Tor, good to see you. Blech. You're back so soon. How are the Nakamuras? Did the problem end up being a demon after all? We can talk about work later. I want to know everything that's been going on at home. Kitchen first. It was a thirsty drive. I'll be right back. I was in the middle of a casting. Let me just finish it up. I came back for you, son. I wanted to help you get ready. Dad, can't you tell me about the demon instead? Later. I missed you. Have you been having the dreams yet? Everyone has dreams. Animal dreams, Aster. Animal spirits will come to you in dreams to, to see if you're fit to receive their gifts. I had a dream about some bees a few weeks ago, but I'd just been working in the beehives, so... You came back to help Aster prepare for the finding? That's right. This time, you'll find your first form. I can smell it. You found your form the first time you tried. Well, yes, but plenty of shifters I know tried three, even four years before a spirit approached them. Don't worry about it, Aster. It'll come naturally. There's no sense in fretting. I'm gonna go. Can we get ready later, Dad? Of course. I don't know how to help him. It's still happening then? Sneaking into the girls' lessons and all? Give him time. When he's ready, the spirits will find him and teach him how to shift, and then he won't have this silly fascination with witchery. Any son of yours will grow into a good man, I know that for sure. It worked! I mean, thank you, thank you. That's a neat trick. I wasn't doing anything. Can I have some? I'm Charlotte. Charlie. Can you, um, not tell anyone you saw that with the berries? What did you even do? You don't go to Sterling Junior High, do you? I'd have recognized you. No, I, uh, no. I go to a different school. Um, what happened to your leg? You're weird. I know. It's okay. Not like creepy weird, just you definitely stick out in my school. You talked to a bush and made it grow blackberries, and that's, well, weird. But I promise I won't tell anyone. Not my dad's, or anyone at my school, or anyone at your definitely not made up school. Thanks. Well, I gotta go. Bye, berry boy. Aster. My name is Aster. For as long as anyone can remember, and longer still, the animal spirits that we share our world with have offered the men of our family a great gift. We may speak with them, enlist their help, and most powerful of all, take their gifts and assume their forms. You will have had dreams where you met with animals and spoke with them. These were spirits seeking you out, deciding if you were worthy of their favor. Tonight, on the equinox, you will go out into the forest and seek a spirit of your own. It may test you, pose you riddles, or wrestle for dominance. If you impress it, it will give you its form to wear. Stay alert, be clever, and take what is offered. I know this is your night, my son. Only beneficial spirits may cross the boundaries of our property. Tonight, especially, there are demons waiting outside the borders. Be safe, sons.
please? Please come. This time, this year, finally, please let me see you. Come on, don't run away from me. Easy there, easy. My name is Sedge. Shh, I'm talking to an animal spirit. But the boundaries, 